Director Trevor and Mungai E. This story has been unfolding for a hot minute because it started with rumors and then first it started with the car crash. If I, if I can take you back, late last year, around December of last year, they were involved in a very horrible car crash. And then after that, we didn't know what the reason was. We didn't know if it was like an accident accident or if it was human negligence. They never quite talked about what the reason was for the car crash. And then fast forward to the beginning of the year there were rumors that cheating cheating allegations left right and center today it was Mungai Eve who was cheating the next day it was director Trevor who was cheating and then after a hot minute director Trevor soft launched a light skin babe on his time you guys are like hey so it's true you guys have really broken up so it has just been unfolding for a hot minute and then they actually came on the internet and confirmed that without a doubt they have they have um, started <coughs> ways, mm -hmm. they've broken up, they're no longer together, and that and that and that and that. But it also brought in the business perspective because as much as they are a power couple, they're always doing um, the Mungai Eve channel, let's remember that director Trevor is responsible for a huge chunk of that success, mainly because he's the one who created the channels, the YouTube channels, he's the one who manages uh, the content, Mungai Eve is basically the presenter of the channel and she is the image of the company uh, that you know director Trevor created however uh, was it yesterday or the day before yesterday he changed everything he changed the platforms from the name Mungai Eve to Kenyan uh, online media and even uh, launched a new presenter a very pretty girl who is now apparently the pre uh, the presenter of Kenya online media but let's not forget somebody d dug up a few articles a few videos of when they just started out you could see how young they are they looked Kienyeji, for lack of a better term. And Director Trevor was asked, they posed the question, if you guys were to ever break up, God forbid, what would happen to your YouTube channel? Because let's forget, let's not forget, this channel has over 750,000 subscribers. Uh, Facebook has also very huge numbers in the millions. And then, you know, it, it's, it's a very huge platform. It's a very huge brand, the Mungai Eve brand. And Director Trevor said, he was very in love at that time, he said, even if we were to break up, <coughs> yes, I created all of this, but it is in Mungai Eve's name. So obviously she would just have it. I would just let her have it because after all, you know, it came from a very naive and in love uh, type of, you know, Space. Yeah, space. And I'm just thinking, wow, how the turntables, how the tables turn. Because now look at him. The minute they broke up, he was very quick to snatch what is his. And I'm not shading him or anything, as in it's his sweat and blood. She may have been the face behind the brand, but it was his sweat and blood working behind the scenes to make this thing a success. So what do you guys think? Do you think he should have just left her? And since he's such um, a social media guru and very tech savvy, created his own brand from scratch, or what do you think should have happened between the two of you? Also, last week they were seen together mm. at an event so have they really broken up or is it kiki for something mm. we're very confused i don't know in my opinion i think if if you're saying he should create a new platform from scratch didn't he create this platform from scratch so he why did. why should he be the one to bite the the, the bullet mm -hmm. and actually let if mungai do whatever she needs to do if at all she is as big a brand as she is it mm -hmm. shouldn't be that hard how many people have lost their accounts and have regrown accounts and how many people have restarted new pages look at sean arwa mm -hmm. she lost her first account she created a backup account and isn't it thriving many many people have had to also recreate this, themselves and rebrand if she wants to continue with the Mungai Eve show, she can still put up a Mungai The name is not taken. It would have been different if he actually now hogged the name and he said it's his um, it's his brand and therefore he will continue to use it even with different presenters. Mm. <laughs> Yo, what the hell? God. <laughs> <coughs> what? <laughs> <coughs> that, that, that was a lot yeah. of intense. <laughs> yeah. Do you anyway. <coughs> So basically, <coughs> so basically, what I'm saying is, it was his money and his brand oh and God. his working sweat <coughs> and his empire that he built from the ground up. So yeah, and I think this is a lesson for literally anyone, whether it's true or not. Mm -hmm. It's still a lesson to be learned. There's always a lesson to be learned, and the lesson that I'm learning here is, it, it's not enough 
for you to just know one part of your business. Mm -hmm. You need to know all the parts of your business, everything that needs to be done. If she needs to cre to have new uh, photographers or new videographers with the same kind of quality of production that she had, she will have to have connected with people like that. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it will then be again a hit and miss, hit and miss. So what the lesson is here is that always be part of every part of your business and make sure that you're protecting yourself as well. Things go wrong. People fight. People sure. fall out. But how do you make sure that you're secured in this fallout? How do you make sure? Are there, you know, contingencies put in place? Are there contracts that have been signed or drawn up like th there has to be a conversation it can't just be vibes whenever you succeed there's always something in the in the corner trying to to, to to put you down so even if they're not dating that's still the lesson that i mean even if they're not broken up and it's just for kiki that's still the lesson i take out of this anyone getting in business with a partner always make sure you secure yourself as well and make sure that it's equal terms like it's not don't make it like a yo i do this and therefore i should get no 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 just like agree to terms that are um are manageable for both and are accepted mutually and then from there it's just smooth sailing from there i guess mm -hmm. yeah <clears throat> that's true so